guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Life at Camp. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It is time for our Kirby Solo Camp! Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at her. <laughs> I honestly think she's gonna have so much fun today. I mean, we've seen Rin, you know, do the most of solo camping because, you know, Rin always on her own and ish, but now we're getting to see Kerr, our little Kirby. You're like, oh my god, don't run out of food, please, because, you know, yeah, you're a Kirby and, you know, Kirby likes to eat. <laughs> Hopefully she returns soon. I mean, we're on episode 7 for Christ's sake, so I think we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 more weeks with this show, I believe. Let me turn this down, that is like hella bright on my face. Better. Okay. Yeah, and since I got drunk. a smart idea and it's okay you already hear Ren oh damn well just the two of you then Well, that's a good question. <laughs> glue, glue maps. That's so cute! <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, I think your sister would be really mad if you if you go by yourself, so you don't tell her. Yeah, you can lie. <laughs> uh, you know, Curb, my lovely Kirby, I, I don't know if you would lie to the license. <laughs> yeah. Or you can always bring like a pocket Wi Fi with you. <laughs> yeah. And what's closest to it, any hotels, you know, restaurants, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be like the other three. Make sure you have lots of supplies and backup supplies because you never know what could happen. Or read a book. Is it interesting that I would also like to see, you know, Ali and Aki do some solo camping? <laughs> but honestly, if it was like that, it we would have to play some bets <laughs> to see who would last the longest. <laughs> oh my god. Find my family.
That is me in the mornings. I need them just to release an OST of this whole entire series because this song currently right now, oh, so good. Really pretty. Spacious, too. Uh oh. Because <laughs> it gives that homey vibes. <laughs> That Kirby. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. <laughs> ah, temptation. <laughs> Once again, Ray makes you want to have a scooter. a curious guy. Oh, it's a beautiful landscape picture. You just wanna snap it. Huh? Hmm? 
Oh my! <laughs> mm-hmm. It's definitely her. Yeah. I wonder why she's here. I know. Just go up to her. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Yeah, you might as well just go. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. That looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you know you had a good ass meal. Like, oh my god. The fact that, like, my two best girls are spending time together. <laughs> now, if, you know, Kirby's friend, who came in, like, a couple episodes ago, if she was here, too, that would be three. Like, ah! Cheesecake looks so good. Yeah, it's nice to go somewhere else for like whether like a couple of hours or two or three. Of course, it's her sister. Oh, it's 
speak of the devil. Everything's going so well. Oh. Like, oh my god, this is so good. I mean, not only to have Sakura and Rin, my two best girls, hang out together was very interesting. Seeing my child Kirby, you know, going on her solo camping trip is adorable. And I'm guessing we're going to see part two next week to see how, you know, it concludes and how well she did. Hell, I might even grade her. You know, I mean, she's doing so good. Like, oh my god. Precious baby girl, I'm so proud of her. Heck, the food. Oh my god. I would have loved to see that udon. But, oh, that pancake with the yakisoba. Like, mm. Mm, God, that looks so good. Like, oh my God. Like, you know something is good when your mouth starts watering. And, like, baby, Kirby, her mouth was just like, <laughs> like, oh my God. It looked so freaking good. I mean, as someone who is a vegetarian, I would like to make it myself and change. Um, I know it's like pork in it. I think there's vegan bacon or veggie bacon. I just have to look and then, you know, cut it up and everything. Um, eggs are fine because I'll still eat eggs and stuff. But yeah, that looks so good. I want to try it so bad. Like, oh my God. That and then, you know, still curry. Even though I am like around the corner from an Asian market store and I can go anytime, but I haven't gone. But oof. Oh, but she's gonna do good. She's already done such a good job on her own, and <laughs> but seriously, that dish, oh my God, looks so good. Just like yes, just want to try it. Like oh my God, if Crunchyroll does not do like a recipe for this, because currently right now they're just getting ready for the, um, you know, the anime awards is tomorrow and stuff like that, because as of right now they had like cocktails and snacks and I'm like, okay, that's fine and dandy. Now after watching this episode, I'm like, I, I need a recipe for this because that looks so freaking good. The noodles, the sauce, everything that was in it, the cabbage, oh my god, looks so freaking good. Like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> All I have is a burrito bowl thing that I made last night for dinner. Or, you know, no, I can use the rest of the meat that I have, the impossible meat. And I can make tacos. Oh, <laughs> bet we make it tacos and nachos in a couple of minutes. But yeah, this was such a good episode. I mean, for part one of two for, you know, Kirby's camping trip. Like I said, she's doing well. I wonder what the heck she's going to make for dinner, how everything's going to go next week. But of course, we have to wait until next week to see. I would honestly like the fact, and this could be their next little like mini spinoff show, because Sakura is such a popular character. Um, heck, she's now getting a freaking nun droid, and I kind of want it. I don't know when it's going to come, I'm guessing between now to like sometime next year. 
Uh, I would like a spinoff all about her. Having, you know, not only Sakura and Rin in this episode be the majority focus also with Kirby at the same time was really nice. And then, you know, Rin going off on her journey and seeing Sakura like on her own and how she likes to take drives because, you know, there's sometimes where like most of us, we just want to like get out of our house, even though with the pandemic going on, you still want to get out of the house and you want to like go at least somewhere and drive somewhere, maybe like an hour or two hours or three hour drive and then come home I, I honestly would love to see a series mainly focused on her i mean she's like one of my best girls and i would love it so freaking much but other than that guys that was my reaction to her episode seven of, of season two of Live by camp if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode eight bye guys